Um, very quickly, this question of should I take hard classes <laughs> and get a lower GPA, or should I go for that really hard AP IB honors class? Right, right. Um, you know, it, it's. I mean, I would say at a place like Millsaps, right off, it's about academic preparedness. So take the rigor, rigorous curriculum. If you take a bit of a hit GPA-wise, any institution like a Millsaps, any institution out there that truly cares about the students that they are recruiting right. and admitting, who they hope will enroll, cares more about their academic preparedness and the fact that they have bitten off more than they had to throughout high school. Because this is a place where we're going to ask you to do the same thing. And you're right. gonna, you are going to take challenging, uh, rigorous curriculum here. Um, and so the, the goal is not that you're graduating with a 3.5 instead of a 3.0. The goal is you've broadened your horizons, you've been academically challenged, and you've graduated and you've come out a better person holistically mm -hmm. you know, on the other end. So rigorous curriculum, uh, to me, trumps other issues of you know, five-tenths of a point here or you know, whatever on your GPA. Now, do all institutions view it that way? I suppose it depends on the institution. Uh, because if there's just a flat admission criteria of have X GPA and X test score to get in, you know, well then a higher GPA might benefit you. But here, in other liberal arts colleges, I would suspect, uh, certainly those of us that are in the colleges that change lives, as an example, we're really gonna look at what a student's been doing in high school, not just their GPA or their test scores. So mm -hmm. I choose academic rigor over that.